Hi, my name is Jenny Dickenshorn and I'm being represented by Gage Talent. Like all families, my family has a deep, dark secret. And since I'm kicking up all this dirt, I might as well go ahead and tell you. <sighs> okay, my dad's name is Dill and my mother's name is Rosemary. They were so entertained by this that they decided to name all their kids after edible items. My brother's name is Kale, my sister's name is Ginger, the Pendergasts are a very varietable family. And look, I know it's weird, but at least they didn't name us some douchey hipster names like Bronx or Jezebel or Roman. I swear you yell Roman in a playground these days and 10 little rugrats will look up at their unimaginative parents reading Us Weekly. You think I'm pretty? Really? I just, I haven't heard that word in so long. I mean, of course my parents will always tell me that I'm pretty, but they're supposed to, so when it comes from them, it doesn't mean as much. And sometimes you know you look good, so it doesn't matter. But some days you don't hear it, and that matters. Some days you think you look good and nobody says anything, or you put on your favorite pair of jeans and nobody notices. That's when you look nice seems to matter the most. I've never been the victim of bullying. No one's ever told me that I'm ugly because no one sees me. I mean, even if I was pretty, how much does a pretty face matter if it's covered by a sheet, a, a blanket of obscurity, a pretty nothing? What do you think is worse? Being known as pretty or ugly or not being known at all? Sometimes I just wish people would say it more, just a you look nice could really change someone's day. But then I realize that I don't say it that often either. I don't tell people that they're pretty when they are, and it's... It's weird because it's not like it hurts to say that. It helps someone else and you. You feel good by making the other person feel good. But I guess people just can't admit when somebody looks better than they do. They don't realize it, of course. They just don't want to admit it. You don't understand. You never hear what I'm trying to say to you. It's always a one-way conversation with you. First, you come at me and you say all these things that you think I'm not doing, and you do this to get me angry because you think by getting me angry, it's gonna make me somehow work harder for what I want in my life, and you're wrong. I'm sorry, but that's so wrong. That's not the way to help me move forward. It's not. Do you have any idea how impossible what I'm going for already is? Do you? Because it is so hard and I could just use some kindness. You're my mother and all, all I ask is that you just stop trying to get so strategy oriented with me and instead give me encouragement and support because you are my mother and that's all I ask. And if you have any advice, I would love it, but I don't think so because coming down on me doesn't help. It doesn't work. I just need you to be there for me like the way I need you to be, like a mother would.